Hi everyone, welcome. Today I want to go through uh, torque rolling, about slow controlled torque rolling, and I want to go through sort of the steps and then what you need to learn before you sort of attempt this um, maneuver. Really, it's quite a hard maneuver, so it will take a while to learn. So don't get disheartened if you spend a bit of time on it and it sort of doesn't come together as quickly as, as you think. But essentially, what you need to learn first is you need to be able to prop hang or hover the plane like this, both belly facing you and canopy facing you um, and you need to be quite confident at it so you don't want to be sort of in the learning stages before you move on you really want to be um, very confident at prop hanging so you also need to be confident in prop hanging with the belly facing you like this it's a little bit more challenging because your rudder um, and your elevator orientation changes and just the orientation in general is a bit, a bit different so in it is a little bit harder so you need to be confident um, both directions being able to keep the plane nice and still um, and keep it in the same sort of spot and just be confident with your rudder and your elevator orientations um, once you're happy uh, with both orientations then all you do is you literally um, take the right aileron input off and the plane will start to just rotate um, naturally that's just the torque of the motor rotating the plane and then all you're doing at this stage is you're putting very very tiny um, rudder and elevator input just to keep the plane where it is also you need to get your throttle pretty much spot on because um, that will help keep the plane more stable and not sort of um, stall as much and uh, where you have a bit too little throttle the plane is going to try to stall on you a bit more so you'll be working harder on your Right at an elevator, but if you get your throttle right, the plane should sort of stay there and just rotate like that. And it's quite a hard maneuver to do because you're constantly doing minor corrections um, to try and keep the plane where it is. So it's, it's not something that you could learn um, very easily, it's something that does take a lot of practice to do. But that is essentially. It looks, once you sort of get the hang of it, it is quite easy. All you're doing is very, very little corrections. What you need to do is, you don't want to be doing very big corrections with your rudder and the elevator because the plane will just completely go out of control um, and you end up crashing it. The other thing is, try and practice on a day when it is really calm uh, and there's no wind because this maneuver is already very challenging. So you don't really want the wind. Um, to affect you. So try and pick a day when it's really really calm, there's hardly any wind um, and it, you'll find it a little bit easier. And if you're practicing on a simulator then you know spend a lot of time on it and, and get good at it before you try it with a real plane because you don't want to crash your plane but if you are practicing in real life try and go a bit higher to, uh, to avoid crashing your plane in case you stall or something like that then you've got the height to sort of recover rather than be that low. But once you get good at it, you want to get nice and low because it looks it looks a lot nicer when, when you're low than when you're not. Um, once you get good at that, you can actually start doing a bit faster by using your your left aileron like that. And to be honest with you, um, I prefer it with the aileron. Um, I find it a lot easier actually and I find it looks a lot a lot cooler um, it just makes it a little bit more stable um, and I think it makes it a little nicer when it's rotating a little bit faster but that's just me but again if you're going to practice that practice on a day when it's very calm practice high um, if you're on the simulator then try and spend as much uh, time as you can before you go out in real life and practice this maneuver because you don't want to crash your plane but yeah this is basically it so hopefully I've given you um, enough advice to get you started on this on this maneuver but if you uh, enjoyed the lesson um, hit the like button subscribe and um, watch my other videos thank you